Welcome to Why Lucy Public Library Story Time. It is Potato Week. <laughs> How are you? I know this is such a funny, funny. What do I want to say? It's funny the, theme this yes, week. A potato. A, yep, potatoes. But it'll be fun. You'll yes. get lots of laughs. Your craft bags, which you can pick up on June 29th. Yes, Monday. Monday. <laughs> um, will have a potato in it, and you will get to do oh, rot. Here's the rot. The potato. Rot. Isn't he cute? <laughs> I think he's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We're going to read a book about rot today. Do you want me to? Sure. Oh, I didn't do our joke. <gasps> oh, that's right. Oh. Miss Flora, <laughs> what kind of shampoo do you use on your dog? Puppy. Shampoodle. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's a good one. Good one. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> All right, I hope everyone had a great week and I hope you're enjoying the craft bags. We're loving doing these. So we're having a lot of fun. Keep picking them up, keep up yep. the good work. We love all the pictures that are being sent to us. Um, so just keep having fun with it. Yes. And we'll keep reading stories. As long as you're having fun, we'll read stories. Okay. Okay, so Rot, the Cutest Potato in the World by Bill Clanton. Hello! This is Rot. He's a <laughs> mutant potato. <laughs> like most mutant potatoes, Rot loves mud, eating stuff, <laughs> and all sorts of games and contests. So, when Rot sees a sign that says cutest in the world contest, he can't wait to enter. Rot is sure he'll win. He is so sure he sings a winning song. I'm the cutest in the world, the cutest in the world, the cutest, cutest, cutest in the world. But then Rot sees the other contestants. There's an itty bitty baby bunny with fluffy, floppy ears. <laughs> a little, little, bewitching, bewhiskered, cuddly kitten. And an eeny, weeny, pink and peppy, jolly jellyfish. I don't know. They don't really look like Rop, do they? <laughs> the other contestants don't think much of Rop's chances. Oh, they're saying things like, my poor adorable eyes, it's hideous. Ick, I think I'm going to be sick. Whoa. That's <laughs> rude. Rock considers eating everyone. He would win for sure if there was only one contestant. <laughs> but it wouldn't be a very nice thing to do and would probably give him indigestion. Maybe Rock would be cuter if he had big ears like the bunny. Look, I look like you. Um, no, said the bunny. <laughs> hmm. Or maybe it would help if he had whiskers like the kitten. Oh, they're kind of itchy. You look ridiculous. Take those off, said the kitten. <laughs> Perhaps if he were pink and peppy like the jellyfish. We're pink and we're happy. Jellyfish is like, no way. None of it makes Rot any cuter. <laughs> Aww. Poor Rot. Don't be sad. So Rot decides to just be himself. Everyone's saying things like, he doesn't stand a chance. Is he actually going up there? That takes guts. Last up, Rot. Rot steps on stage and struts his stuff. He smiles his biggest smile. He shows his 
Best side. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do the judges think? Drum roll, please. Rot is the cutest in the world. I think I'm in love. He's perfect. <laughs> oh, seriously? No way. Huh? Rot gets a great big trophy. It is so shiny that Rot can see his reflection. And Rot thinks he looks like the cutest in the world. Ugh. This contest was totally rigged. Wait, are you wearing a unibrow? The cat said to the jellyfish. Um, hmm, do you like it? <laughs> the end. Thank you, thank you. Yay, Rod! <laughs> but you know, that's what's important, is you always have to be yourself, right, Miss Flora? That's right. And have fun and be you. You are perfect the way you are. That's right. That's right. It says right here, the things that make me different are the things that make me. Mm -hmm. ah. And we love you all just the way you are. And this is by Lori Keller. We're going to read Potato Pants. Oh. <laughs> Look at these. Just made for potatoes. Potato is excited. That's why he's doing the robot. Miss Jen's been practicing. I call it Pobot because I'm a potato. He's excited because today, for one day only, Lance Fance's Fancy Pants store is selling potato pants. Yay! Potato knows every tater in town, and he will they will want a pair. So he's there early because, like the sign says, once they're gone, they're gone. Can you Lance Vance's Fancy Pants Potato Store. Oh, no, it's not potato. It's a store. Okay. I want a stripey pair, just like the ones in the window, with stripey suspenders for added stripiness. Mm, stripes are great. Yes. What's this? Potato is upset. That's why he stopped doing the robot. He's upset about that eggplant who just walked into Lance Vance's Fancy Pants Store. What's he doing here? The eggplants don't wear, even wear pants. Yesterday was eggplant pants day. Wow. Potato won't go into Lance Vance's fancy pants store because of that eggplant. That eggplant is nothing but trouble. Mm. Yesterday I was walking along, minding my own potato -y business, and out of my way. And that's when he ran by and pushed me right into the trash can. Eggplant did that? Yes. That is terrible. If he sees me in Lance Vance's fancy pants store, he'll push me again and ruin my brand new potato pants. Oh, poor potato. It's not easy for him to watch all the other potatoes walk by mm -hmm. in their new potato plants. Pants, sorry. <laughs> I love my new potato pants. Say that three times real fast. Potato, potato pants, potato pants, potato pants. pants, potato pants. pants. It's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> oh, we love hard pants, too. Mine have polka dots and ruffles. Mine have big pockets. And mine are kind of scratchy. Ooh, I might need some under potato underpants. Oh, potato underpants. <laughs> potato is losing his patience, waiting for that eggplant to leave Lance Vance's fancy pants store. What's taking him so long? Mm. And if yesterday was eggplant pants day, why is he here on potato pants day? Mm -hmm. Potato pants day, that's ridiculous. Potatoes, potatoes don't even wear pants. That's what the lady walking by is saying. It's not ridiculous, grocery store lady. Oh, the grocery store. They have potatoes, but they've got to have potato pants too. Mm -hmm. What a clever potato. He figured out a way to avoid the eggplant and still get his potato pants. Hello, grocery store. Do you have potato pants? Potato pants? Yeah, you know, pants that are for potatoes. We don't have potato pants. Well, maybe your store call them something more like spud slacks or tater trousers <laughs> or yam chaps. <laughs> Any of those ring a bell? Heck, I could probably squeeze myself into a pair of cucumber cords <laughs> if I had to. Do you have any cucumber cords? Sorry, sir. There's just... Nothing clothing here, just food. Mm. 
Potato is not giving up. He's sure there's a way to get potato pants without having to face that eggplant. Think, 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 think. Don't panic. I still have time. Okay, actually, you don't have much time. There's only one pair of potato pants left on the rack. <gasps> only one pair of potato pants left on the rack. What will potato do now? Potato pants out of my way. Only one pair left. What a brave potato. He's not going to let that eggplant stop him from getting the last pair of potato pants on the shelf. Good. Oh, there comes eggplant. Potato pants, where are they? I need potato pants. Yikes, potato may be in more trouble than he bargained for after that entrance. No, no, oh no, potato's too late. Where are they? Sorry, I got the last pair. Okay, okay, potato. Let's take a moment here. Come on, deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, that's it. Think of the puffy clouds, inhale, exhale. Oh, forget it, this is exhausting. Let it out, potato. That eggplant ruined everything, and it's his fault I didn't get potato pants. He has brand new, perfectly eggplant pants, but I'm totally pantless. It's not fair. Actually, his eggplant pants aren't perfect anymore. You hit him with the door, and they ripped all the way down the back. You can see for yourself, here he comes. Oh, Potato, it's been nice knowing you. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. I've been looking for you, Spud. Potato is scared. If he had potato boots, he'd be shaking in them. Eggplant's looking. Uh-oh. I came back here to do what I should have done yesterday. What? Turn me into mashed potatoes? No. I'm here to apologize. I'm sorry I pushed you. I was in a hurry to get these eggplant pants. I hope you'll forgive me. What? Potato's thinking, he's not turning me into mashed potatoes? <gasps> Potato is shocked. His starchy little head is spinning. Forgive him? Why should I forgive him? He pushed me into the trash can. Well, I ripped his brand new eggplant pants. Oh, I don't know what to do. So, will Potato forgive? Eggplant or not? I hope he does. I hope he does too. Okay. Everyone makes mistakes. <gasps> yes, they do. Eggplant says, or I mean, Potato says, I forgive you, Eggplant, and I'm sorry for ruining your eggplant pants. Excuse me, we can fix your eggplant pants, and they'll be good as new. And the sale is over, so you can have the potato pants on the mannequin in the window. Do you like these? Like them? I love them! And that is one stripey potato. Potato's favorite thing about the new potato pants, besides their stripey stripiness, is that they also make great robot pants. <laughs> and eggbot pants. Ooh, eggbot! And pobot pants. The end. Oh, that was good. Good That's story. That's a good story. Oh, and here in the back of this book it shows. Meet the creator of Potato Pants is called Tuberto. Tuberto. He was inspired to create Potato Pants after not being able to find pants that fit him properly. He's now busy designing a full line of potato fashions for both the active and the couch potato. Lovely. And the Potato Pants collection is right here. Oh. So you can even try to make some pants for your potato yeah, Rock could use some pants. And that is mm -hmm. the end. This is a good one. That was a good one. All right. Who would have thought potato books could be so funny? I know. <laughs> <laughs> and and this Jen and I, if you do look up on uh, uh, YouTube, you can find out how to do the dance, the mashed potato. We were trying to learn how to do it, but I think it's better if you look it up on YouTube. You, you and do it. You, you do look it, it up. Because you have to do your heels and your mm -hmm. toes and your heels and your toes and... and uh, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of funny when we do it. It does look great though. It looks yeah, it like does. a good time. It'll be a good time. Yeah. But we can do the other thing that we usually do. <laughs> yes, what is, is that? If you're happy and you know it. We could do that. Okay. I would like to do that. I just wanna um also for the older for you older kids that are watching in the craft bag, there is a recipe for old fashioned potato candy. <gasps> 
Mm -hmm. So that is another craft for you guys to do. Wow. I love potato candy. I do too. I love it. It's good. Sometimes you make, yeah, you make mashed potatoes, you can put them in like the little Easter egg candy that you yep. make. Yep, yep, yep. Or bonbons. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. It's so that good. You don't, you don't get to see And you wouldn't, think <laughs> that, you wouldn't think that the no. mashed potatoes are in it because all you taste is sugar. Yeah, and when we like sugar. sugar. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Miss Flora and I have a secret stash. Yeah, we do, we do. Yeah. yeah, but don't tell anyone oh, I yeah, said yeah. that. No. <laughs> All well, right, are you ready? Shall we? Okay. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then you're shaking. You know, so so sure. sure. <laughs> if, if you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! Now we have to do all three, Miss Jen. Oh, okay. Miss Laura. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Wait, stop, oh, stop. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stop, stop. Hooray! All right! Yes! <laughs> oh, all right, my friends. Great. This has been so much fun. We love, we love you. you and thank, thank you. Thank you for watching our show. And we'll see you on the 29th yeah. for you to pick up your potato craft bags. Okay, thank you. Yeah.